So what I want to talk about now is how long these varro treatments have to be into hives. And in New Zealand, where we've got a temperate climate, we only treat either side of the honey flow. So we treat in the spring and we treat again in the autumn. And these products like, ba like um, Bavrol, and most of the varro treatments, you leave them in for a full eight weeks. And for the New Zealand situation in the spring, it's probably not necessary, because if you put Bavrol strips in a hive, um, it'll kill about 95% of the mites on the bees within 24 hours. So you can get quite good control in the spring for just that little short period. But beekeepers in New Zealand find it easier just to leave them in for the full eight weeks because if you took them out just after, after a few days, you've got to make a second visit to the apiary. And in New Zealand, our apiary sites have only have got about 20 hives in them. So it's very expensive on labour to do that. So we just put them in for the full eight weeks. In the autumn, however, um, you, that's when colonies are most likely to, to die of varroa. And you have to there, the eight weeks is very important for two reasons. You want to leave them in so that the, for the full eight weeks, so the colony goes through a couple of brood cycles, just in case the mites for one brood cycle, when it emerges, don't climb into another cell quickly without being killed. But more importantly, the big problem with the, with the autumn is invasion. And what this is, is that the bees are bringing back mites from somewhere else back into the hive. And when we measured in Auckland, we recorded nearly 70 mites coming to the front of a hive in the same day. So the autumn has this very long period of treatment, eight weeks. And for the initial incursion, we had to do it even longer. And you had to take the old strips out and put the new ones in so they got a full 16 weeks treatment to protect the hives. But the great products as far as that is concerned. Now Australia, because of its more tropical climate and beekeepers in Australia like to tell me that they can collect um, honey for a full 11 months. So the problem is when to treat. Um, and there, big apiary sites, and if you're sticking around, putting them in just for 24 hours, might be a reasonable approach to having an integrated control program and they can be used that way rather than leaving the full eight weeks because they'll have some control of the mites not as good for eight weeks but um, the residue profile is much better. <laughs>